Why have you brought me to this not at all cultural place? Because I want to teach him a lesson about what real speed is. Well, he's got over 700 horsepower. Yes, I know, but you remember Jaws, big metal teeth, huge man? James Bond simply threw him through a window, and that's what I'm going to do to him. Do you mind if I don't take part in this? <laughs> I'll do it. So, as Hammond had some new tyres fitted, Again, I took to the track for some sighting laps. Now, let's get one thing straight from the start. Aston Martins are not really designed to do track work. They're designed to look good, and that's it. Yes, the chassis on this, the DB11, was developed by a former Lotus engineer, but they actually told him to tune it more for comfort than handling. That being said, this has an aluminium chassis and some aero trickery. Air is sucked into holes behind the rear windows and then shot out of a vent on the boot lid, giving me a sort of air rear wing. Giving me grip. A lot of grip. The traction control is simply astonishing. In most cars, it's like somebody hitting you on the head with a hammer, but in this, it's just going, um, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. The Hellfire, this is very, very good. Certainly, it's good enough to be able to totally destroy Hammond's idiotic dodge. Magnesium roof, carbon fibre prop shaft. The engine isn't made from aluminium, it's made from cast iron. And you get the impression that it made it from stone if they could. What it does have is vast reserves of power and even vast reserves of character. This thing is just hilarious. <laughs> Look at him in his little brown Aston. Being all in control and just not having fun, is it? I mean, what's the point? So boating probably thinks I can't. Well, I'm sorry, Hammond. This is a 600 horsepower rear-wheel drive Aston Martin. So I turned the traction control off, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> One of the purposes of the original ground tour wasn't just to look at things and learn about things, it was also to enhance your capabilities. You would learn to do things. You might do, I don't know, writing sonnets, playing musical instruments, regional cooking maybe. I'm having a go at watercolour painting. It's absolutely delightful. Apart from my reverie is occasionally interrupted by the disgusting bellow of Hammond's muscle car. Mr. Hammond appears to have organised a helicopter to record the event. Ha-ha, <laughs> Clarkson! Get past me now! Smoke screen, you! <laughs> what a moron you are, Hammond! Get out of my way! This is not a particularly cultural thing to do. But it is very good fun! Even though Hammond and I were having a big, smoky riot, we'd learned nothing at all. So we decided to get scientific and do a proper, timed flying lap. This matters. This is for Britain, this is for Europe. So silly business get round this as fast as we can. With the 
flying lap completed, we met to compare times. You go on, then. All right, then. Two. Yes. Yes. 18 seconds. 18? Why? Yes. Why? What have you got? What, have you, what are you? 18? Did, but... You not making yeah. that up? No, two minutes, 18. Point seven nine. God for that. I'm a f it's crushing. Three, five. Well, it's hardly crushing, is it? No, because that's, that's... I don't know why you accepted the challenge. It's less than half a second for your extra 100 grand. Ooh. Well, hardly a big glow, is it? <laughs> it's £100,000 for half a second and one miles an hour top speed. 240 years of independence and that's the best they can do.